Hello everyone, this is Gally and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Dragons. Today, based on a suggestion, we're going to draw uh, the front legs or the for front view of the hind legs of dragons. And this time I've drawn some little examples to help you with this. So we're going to start with our little friend Greeny here. So as you can see, he's sitting down based on my generalized drawings of dragons. He doesn't look like any animal in particular, but I'll show you some examples. For example, here, the first one, you can see that I've got a, a dinosaur-like kind of creature. You can see he's a little fat and his legs are bumpy or a little round, just like any cartoon dinosaur out there. So I'm going to show you with a different color. For example, you have his pudgy legs like this, like baby's legs kind of round as well as the fingers they look like curves these are the simplest forms to draw just imagine kind of eggs or squashed circles literally all of his body is comprised of eggs so as you can see this is a very simple example but having in mind that different round um, figures can help you make your legs it simplifies your life a lot so this time I also drew a little bird so you can see he's also made out of ironically eggs and even his feet are legs but as you can see in difference from these kind of legs his legs are hidden under his feathers so what I would do is recommend you to look for many animals in, in the internet and see when they're sitting down how their legs look and why and maybe the length of their bones is not the same for example having this long of bone and then little things like birds or a very long leg like a kangaroo like it's very different so knees look different in any animal as do legs so, for example, this is a crocodile, and as you can see, he has a very small beginning, a little longer continuation, and a very long fingered paw at the end. And they don't necessarily, when they sit down, they don't look like this, or like this, this is a monkey, they look different. Reptiles have a different way of sitting down, so you could probably even look like this, instead of this. This is a monkey right here, the second example. And the first thing you have to look for is how the leg looks like an egg. And then you do the front paw, which is connected by the knee, then the shin, and then the paw. This one, for example, is sitting on a tree. So this is extended to the back. So these are very different animals, as you can see, but all of their knees and legs work the same. It's just the matter of looking at the specific differences. So then I'll show you different examples. This one is also a dragon kangaroo bunny thing. He's very happy. And now he looks sinister. So he's sitting down like a cat. His legs look way different than any other animal like tigers or such. <clears throat> their legs are hidden under folds. So imagine they have their bones like this, and then they have their paws, right? Well, the thing about them is that they look hidden. Look at cats. They only look like this. It's like they don't even have bones. Like if you erase this, you will only see something like this. That's it. So, really look for different animals they have so many kinds of of bodies so this could be a dinosaur maybe and you see he has longer t uh, legs and they also look like eggs i repeat that figure is everywhere it's usually just three or four and then the paws this is this is a side view 
but it helps to see how they are connected to the rest of the body if you draw the egg shape. In this one as well, you'll have an egg here, a neck here, and probably just a stick here, and then you have the legs. So, repeating this on this side, you'd have this, this, and this. So this helps a lot to simplify your poses, which I recommend a lot. Simplify them, try to understand how they look, and get their shapes right. So I'm going to show you another tip, this one with green. The leg should be looking a certain way. The knee is very important. You have to make the feet look in the direction the knee is looking at. If you make the feet look a different direction, it would look like he broke his leg or something. So for example, you have the leg, right? And here's the knee. And you make this go this way, so it should go this way, and the feet should be looking this way. But let's just say you want the feet to, I don't know, look this way. Is it alright? Yes, why? Because it's still looking this way. But some people get really excited and they make their feet all the way there. What's wrong with this? It's broken. It cannot bend to such an angle. So you really have to look for the direction of your knee and then follow it with your feet and Google the, the animal. This is impossible. This should just not be. Look at anatomy, learn from that, understand the shapes. Those are really, really good methods for learning. So I have another one. I have this one. This is like a dinosaur too. And again, the egg shape. So what happens with the egg shape? You can see it here and you can see it here. It's just longer and different looking. If you wanted to do a longer leg, you could as well. It's different, but it's the same principle. Just three parts. Figure it out, like really simple. Look at this. It's just circles. Looks like a weird balloon animal. Okay, so now that you, you have looked at so many different egg shapes, you can create your own legs, really. It's just the same thing. If you want to put it on the front, looking at the front, you would just connect the fingers of your animal to the front, and then at the knee, so forth like it's really that simple and this is the last tip I really hope helps you can see the direction the leg is going like you want this to be looking at the front so optimally you will have the body of your dragon this is his tummy and perhaps the legs here right so you have your egg shape then the shin and then the, the feet. So it's pretty much the same thing we've been looking at in a smaller scale. Ta-da! So this is this. And you can make them thicker, you can make them thin, you can do claws like this, or like this, or like this. It's really up to you to find the animal that suits your your animal leg, your dragon leg, and do it. Base yourself on dinosaurs, base yourself on birds, on reptiles, or on, I don't even know, like tigers work wonders with my designs. So you can do, you can do your legs thinking of different arches, like first it goes this way, then it goes the knee, then it goes this way, again, this is the angle, and then again, and then you have the paw. It's just based on direction. And it goes the same way with different kinds of legs. Think about the bones, structure beneath it, and then learn the muscles. And just grab the shapes of what you learn and use them. That's really it. I hope it helped you guys. Sorry for not posting often. 
Mexico suffered a terrible earthquake and we've been all heads up trying to help. And so, so many things have happened this month. But I'm back to business. So I really hope you like it. And if you do, please subscribe. And it would be wonderful if you could just click the little bell icon that appears on the top of my profile. So when you subscribe, you can get notifications from me. If you don't, I'll just keep posting, but you won't know when I do. So please click the bell icon, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.